grand festival? Oh, there's enough questions circling around about it to shake a tinfoil hat at. I've compiled a few thoughts here that maybe you haven't heard about while romping around Splatsville. They're conspiracies. So get over here. Hey, first of all, what happens to all the inkfish that don't want to go to the grand festival? You know, all those other inklings and octolings that maybe have no vested interest in team past, team present, or team future? Does anybody get to stay behind? What if they just don't want to participate in the Splatfest? Can they, like, stay home and play ranked? Does anarchy go away? Like, normally, the Splatfests are in Splatsville, so you have to participate. But if it's somewhere else, uh, what's stopping someone from staying home? What happens if someone gets delivery and they're not home? It's just gonna stay outside of their house? That seems like a pain. Who's gonna make sure that people's, like, like electricity stays on? Did any, anybody think about that? No. I bet you didn't think about that. What if someone just sneaks back home during the fest. They don't have to stay there the whole time, right? What if they need something from their house in the middle of those 72 hours? But, I don't know. And you know, if everyone's all in one place, how good is the security here? What if someone sneaks in a regular ink strike? Like Splatoon 1 style? Instead of the triple ink strike, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna be scanning every single individual's weapons to make sure they're up to code? Because, yeah, I know, there's a committee that has updated the rules for specials all through these years, but with so many individuals, so many Inklings and Octolings all there, I feel like it's gotta slow something down if you're checking all the time. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm overthinking it, you know? Maybe nobody thinks to do that because they assume they're gonna get caught. I mean, hey, you go in a turf war, you queue in, you have to choose a weapon. You can't even get into a challenge with the wrong weapon. So maybe this is a non-issue. You know what is important? What the heck is little Judd up to? Back in the days of Inkopolis, you knew where he was. He was hanging out with Judd. He was always there. You went over there, he went like, meow. And you were like, wow, haha, -ha, cute little cat. Good little guy. Glad to have two Judds now, haha. -ha. And you know, when a match ends, you see him there. But nowadays in Splatsville, you don't see him around and about. He's gotten a little, a little dusty, a little scruffy. He's growing up, probably. But what is he doing when he's not watching a match? I know, there's a lot of matches going on, like all the time. But as an individual inkling, there's a lot of time that I'm not really seeing little Judd. What is he doing there? Is he scuttling off to the next match to be able to watch? But seriously, what is he up to? What secrets does he know about this Splatfest? I, I bet I bet he knows something. I don't know what it is. Do you think that he's scurrying off right now to help set up for the Grand Festival? What does he know that we don't? What's gonna happen during those 72 hours? Is little Judd gonna be the one going back to our houses to make sure we don't leave the electricity on? Is he gonna turn off the oven? Wait, what if he's aware of something else? What if he knows about Mr. Grizz? He he does use that headset. Sorry, I I forgot. I think for for you know salmon run related activities, right? But 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 but, what if Mr. Grizz finally came back during all of this? He has been just floating around up there for a, a really long time, and you know, gravity exists. I know I, I know how orbiting works too. But gravity is pretty strong. And Mr. Grizz is a, a pretty big bear. Like, he can't stay up there forever, right? Forever? He probably still wants to do the mammalian thing. So, like, you know, having all of these inkfish all in one place, an entire, like, population for the Grand Festival? Dude could just plummet down from the sky meteor style and ruin the whole thing you know is anybody paying attention to this is it just me is it is it just little judd should i go find little judd do, do you think he knows i mean i get it there's like there's like another Splatfest in the way before grand fest but 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 like someone has to know about this maybe maybe i know what i have to do after i'm done telling you all these facts oh my goodness wait Wait, 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 wait. Is that why Octavio has a sign in the Grand Festival? Is he there as, like, backup? Do, 
Does everybody know? Do... Do all... Do all the idols know about this and they're not telling anybody? We, we have to do something about this. Come on. And if something big happens, how does everybody leave? You've got, what, uh, like, the, the, the roads behind Moray Towers? You've got, what, what, Hammerhead Bridge? How many, how many vehicles can even go across Hammerhead Bridge in, like, an hour's time? You've got the Fuzzy Ooze Bear Man going wild and bananas over at Grand Festival. Everyone's trying to leave. People are getting back in their cars from their, the human Coachella-type event. I believe that's what I've heard some individuals compare it to, correct? And, and you're trying to get everybody across Hammerhead Bridge? What if there are people doing a match? Does the match have to stop? That's like the worst outcome. Imagine if somebody's ex is on the line and you have to stop the match. Everybody disconnects. They lose their rank. They're never going to forgive you. They're not going to forgive Mr. Grizz either, but what if they don't even know? What if there's so many cars that Hammerhead Bridge just, uh, just breaks? What if they have to put Hammerhead Bridge under construction again? What about, what about Sheldon's shop? What do you think about Sheldon's shop? Do you, do you think there's gonna be enough space for everything Sheldon sells back in, back in Splatsville? Come on, think about this, think about this. There are over 120, 120, 130 weapons that you can purchase from Sheldon at any given time. I don't know about you, but I don't feel like any of those tents that we saw really are gonna be able to hold on to all of the stuff that Sheldon is selling. What if Sheldon has to go back to the Splatlands in the middle of this whole event. What if Sheldon gets backed up by all the traffic at Hammerhead Bridge? You think about it, you think about it. What if Sheldon goes back for his weapons, but there's nobody in Splatsville and it's just like spooky and abandoned? You see, I'm bringing everything back together here. There's so many layers to this, but okay, okay, okay. Does Sheldon have to decide like which items he carries the most stock of? at Grand Festival? What if he runs out? There's gonna be so many individuals there that probably aren't normally participating in Turf War. He's gotta be super stocked up. Do you think that he's like stocking up right now? Maybe they gotta make some like big system of ditches or something. Do you think if we go out to the desert right now, we could find them? <gasps> Imagine. Imagine how much money you could get selling those weapons for scrap. I mean, I mean, nothing, 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 nothing. I will not, I will not be doing that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Didn't hear that. I hope I hope Sheldon. Uh, I hope everything goes great for Sheldon. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Speaking of great, what about the great Zapfish? Does the great Zapfish get to participate at the Grand Festival? Does the great Zapfish have to ditch one of our towns to be able to go and help? I mean, yeah. There's definitely more than one of those things. Whenever I travel from the Splatlands to Inkopolis and back. There's always a zapfish there, and I, I doubt it's following me. That would be pretty awesome, but I have my doubts. But what if there aren't any more? There's a lot of lights at that concert. Have you seen that concert? All those jellyfish? Wait, 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 wait. Think about this, think about this. Do we even know if the jellyfish are able to participate in the Grand Festival? I know. Normally, they're not really able to participate in the Splatfest, so I'm assuming it won't be any different here. But they always have been such great vendors, and they've always had such enthusiasm for the events. Do you ever wonder what would happen if you're, like, standing around a crowd of jellyfish for a really long time, and they're all really excited for one team? Do you think, you know, I hate to say it, but Inklings and Octolings, they are very easily swayed by trends. If enough jellyfish had a favorite team, do you think it could change the result without them having to play? Think about this. Every time there's been an event, every like couple of years, it feels like these events have gotten grander and bigger. If I was a jellyfish, I personally think I'd be on Team Future, hopeful that events in the future would get even better for me, even more enjoyable. What if there are more players on Team Future than you think? Just because of this. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna calm down here. I'm gonna take off the tinfoil hat and everything's gonna be all good. I feel like we really got the gears turning today. I feel like we really learned something or maybe thought about something at least. So, uh, hey. Make sure to subscribe that's so you can keep thinking with me in the future. Who knows what the future might hold? I ah, get it. I'm, I'm joining Team Future. Yeah.